Amen and amen and amen and amen. Good morning and welcome to our dew of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I believe that we had a wonderful time from last week, Monday, up until Wednesday, where we terminated our um, 10 days of prayers. And I want to be confident and I want to also reassure you that your testimonies are coming in the name of of the lord jesus christ now i started out something on the last night which i'm going to continue on this service this morning in the name of the lord jesus christ now i started out by showing us some certain stories or some certain characters from the story of esther Mordecai, you know vashti and the king 
I heard sorrows. And I read sorrows from Esther chapter 1 till you get to the end of the book of Esther. There is no mention of God. So it's a scripture where we liken the characters to our relations with God. And I am very confident with what the Lord has laid in my heart for us this morning that it will bless someone in the name of Jesus Christ. So very quickly, let's lift up our voices to heaven and begin to exalt the name of the Lord. He's worthy of praise, he's worthy of glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are here to thank you for how you have stood with us thus far. Thank you because today is the 23rd in the month of March. You have been faithful, you have been kind, you have been good to us. Despite our shortcomings, Lord God, your faithfulness has stood. Oh God, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Somebody lift up your voices to God. Thank him from the depth of your heart. Thank him from the depth of your spirit. Lord, we exalt you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And we thank you. Zalina Kai. Zuline Mihaiku Santa. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And we thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And someone under the sound and influence of my voice will say, the loudest amen and amen the next prayer point i was talking to the bible says a man cannot receive anything except it is given to him from heaven you will talk to the father in the name of jesus this morning my heavens are open my answers are released my heavens they are open my answers are released my heavens they are open my answers they are released in the name of jesus lift up your voices to god Lift up your voices to God. Lift up your voices to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I pray this morning, my heavens are open. My answers are released. My heavens are open. My answers are released. My heavens, they are open. My answers, they are released. In the name of Jesus, Malani, Soreni, Salanusa, Shagadi, Balu, Zizali, Agabani, Marana, Sute, Zelegidu, Siabali, Atuses. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as I pray this morning, my heavens are open, my answers are released, my heavens are open, my answers are released, my heavens are open, my Aiku, Sali, Dabalani, Surezes, my heavens are open, my answers are released, my heavens are open, my answers are released. My heavens are open. My answers, they are released in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sister Rookie, I want to believe you are hearing me. And I want to deliver the word of the Lord to you right now. I want to believe that you are hearing me. And I want to deliver the word of the Lord to you right now. As I'm praying, the Lord is speaking to me concerning a pain that all of a sudden emerged. And I see that pain being projected from your back. You feel it, your left hand side, but it's at your back region. Especially most times you take in air. And the way you want to breathe in, you don't do anything strange, but you all of a sudden that pain has started coming. Now you're asking yourself, where is this pain coming from? Where is this pain coming from? I prophesy to you right now that in the name of Jesus, pain be gone. Pain be gone. Pain be gone. Pain be gone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will not service sickness with God's blessing. You will not service sickness with the finances that God is bringing to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want us to begin to pray, okay? I want us to begin to pray, and the next couple of minutes, we are going to be out of here once I hit where God wants us to go. So now, we go back to Esther chapter 1, and we see the story, you know? The king was making a banquet. The king was making a feast, and it was a very long feast. Then it fell on a certain week. Oh, God help me. It fell on a certain week. And on that week, the Bible says, and there was a feast. All the kings, all the princes from everywhere came. And out of excitement, the Bible says, and the king Ahasuerus ordered his finest servants and people that were close to him and asked him to go and bring, asked them to go and bring the queen with her crown royal. That's an announcement. 
Many of us have been praying to God, Lord God, where will my answer come? Lord God, where will my change come? And we do not realize the Bible said, you know, talking about Mordecai, when we get, we get to get that part. Everybody, my friend who ministered, the prophet ministered, everybody has a book, and there is also an appointed day for that book to open. I'm praying that on the day your book will be opened, you will not miss it. On the day your book is to be opened, you will not be missing, 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 you will not be missing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, it was the time of Queen Vashti's book to be opened again. She was a queen. And let me say something to you. Forget where God has lifted you. Remain humble at all times. Lift up your voice and pray this prayer loud and clear. Say, my father, every spirit of pride, every trace of pride in my life, in my destiny, right now, die 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 in the name of jesus lift up your voice and pray it lift up your voice and pray it father every trace of pride in me that want to stop me from my day of announcement that want to stop me from entering into what you have prepared for me oh god this morning let it be taken away let it die let it be taken away let it die let it akid no jesus taken away and die 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 out of my life die out of my life die out of my life in the name of Jesus every spirit of pride every iota of pride right now right now right now right now right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Someone will say amen and amen. Now, if you read that scripture, the king was doing his and Vashti was doing hers. That's distraction because that was what made her not to realize her place. There are certain things that we are doing now. It's not God that acted to it. There are certain people we are with. It's God did not sanction us to be with those people. So, we are running at a risk. We are running at the risk. I'm prophesying to everyone that in the name of Jesus, every symptom, every personality around you to distract you right now, they are removed, 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 removed. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and talk to God. My Father, uproot every tree of distraction. Uproot every personality assigned to distract me from purpose, from destiny. In the name of Jesus, from divine plan. In the name of Jesus, from my divine timing. Right now, every spirit of distraction be uprooted. 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 Be uprooted, 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 right now, be uprooted, right now, be uprooted, right now, be uprooted, 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 right now, be uprooted, right now, be uprooted, right now, be uprooted, 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 be uprooted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Queen Vashti was distracted and she was now on her way. Listen, once you are distracted, that's it. You are already gone. There are certain things that you may be doing now. Who asked you to do it? There are certain relationships that you are in now. Who, who is the one that's answering? Anything that you are feeling uncomfortable with, let them go. I'm speaking to someone on the other side of I don't know who you are. You have all of a sudden, I don't know, Mr. Reynolds, if you are here, all of a sudden, this word is to you, Mr. Reynolds. If you are here, Mr. Reynolds, this word is for you. The Spirit of the Lord is making me to understand that all of a sudden, you have become uncomfortable with a certain person who is around you. Your spirit right now, has all of a sudden become restless because of this person. All of a sudden, your spirit now has become restless because of this person. That is a nudging in you. 
to watch and let that person go. Once you begin to see, see discernment is different from suspicion. If you are suspecting, leave, leave the person. But if something, if there's a discerning and you know or you see something that makes you to know, let that person go. You can call that person that look and look at what you're doing. But if that is going to become a problem, let them go. Put it online, I will let them go. Put it, everybody now put it, I will let them go. Because certain things must, you must let them go. This, see, there are certain things in our lives that are distracting us from purpose. Distracting us from plan. Even your family members can be distracting you. Your husband can distract you. Your wife can distract you. Your children can distract you. So you must, your eyes must steadily be on God. He can't distract you. He would rather keep you focused. Now watch this now. Esther chapter 1 verse 10. Like I told you, we've run it through. So I'm going to be picking what I want to pick. Then we're going to pray. Or oh, we'll keep praying. On the seventh day, when the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded me, man, blah, 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 in the presence that served the presence of the king. Verse 11 to bring Vashti before the king with the crown royal. Now, this is what this, this, this prayer point just came to my says on the seventh day when the heart of the king was merry with wine. Talk to God, say, Father, may I not miss my Kairos moment because it was a moment now. It was a time. You will see, it was a moment, it was a window of announcement that opened for Vashti. But she missed it. I pray for you. You will not miss your window of opportunity. You will not miss your window of opportunity. You will not miss your window of opportunity. You will lift up your voice and talk to God. That Father, I believe the second time I pray, say, Father, I will not miss my window of opportunity. I will not miss my divine carous moment. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Pray. Oh God, I will not miss my divine timing. I will not miss my divine season. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I will not miss my time. I will not miss my season. In the name of Jesus, my season, my time. You will not pass me. You will not pass me. You will not pass me. I will not be ignorant to my time. I will not be ignorant to my day. Thank you, Spirit of Living God. And someone, under the sound and volume of my voice, will say, Amen and Amen. Now, it's a prayer point came to my heart, which I want to read for us. It says, to bring the queen fasting before the king with the crown royal to show the people and the priests of her beauty, she was fair to look on. So it was, it was, it was her time. She was at a level, but at this point now, I believe the king wanted to exalt her more. Just like God wants to lift you to another level. And sometimes you refuse that call to come up because you feel comfortable. I told us, comfort is the destructor. Oh, sorry, the destroyer. Or in short, comfort is what will distract you from achieving what God wants you to do. Comfort, your comfort zone is your number one point of distraction to walk out of destiny. I'm praying for you that may you not be too comfortable to the leadings, to the nudges of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. Mm. This is a prayer point. Something else. In short, let's pray. Let's say, Father, every every agent of comfort, every comfort that you want to make me to lose divine timing, Father, bring me out of it. Bring me out of it. Make me restless. 
bring me out of it make me restless talk to god say father i step out of my comfort zone i step out of my comfort zone i step out of my comfort zone in the name of jesus somebody's praying it 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 somebody's praying praying oh god i step out of my comfort zone i step out of my comfort zone i step out of my comfort zone in the name of jesus i akutabali dabali the whole sea lord in the name of jesus I step out of my comfort zone. I step out of my comfort zone. I step out of my comfort zone right now. I step out of my comfort zone right now. I step out of my comfort zone right now. I step out of my comfort zone in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Anything that wants to keep me in the place of comfort, that I will lose time, that I will lose place, that I will lose your move. Oh God, today I step out of it by your power. I step out of it. Bring me out of it, O oh God. Bring me out of it, O oh God. Bring me out of it, O oh God. Bring Aiko Saya da Balada Bush. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. And someone under the sound of my voice will say, Amen. Amen. You know, the Holy Ghost told me, he said that some people are comfortable in their poverty, comfortable in their pain. There's a difference between comfort and contentment. Sometimes it's very, very strange. Some people can just be okay at the level that they are. And not want God to give them more. Thinking that this is enough for me. Right this instant, I'm declaring every agent, everything around you that is a comfort zone that want to rob you of your divine destiny, it is taken away, taken away, taken away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Watch this now. It says on the seventh day. Okay, so now that now look at this. Now look at this. This is where I want to get to now. So to bring verse to the queen. Okay, now so to bring verse to the queen before the king. Now verse twelve. But the queen, Vashti refused to come at the king's commandment by his chamberlains. This was an information that Vashti should work with. Many of us, I, 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 and I want to say this, many of us will get information. I want to give you divine intelligence, divine wisdom, as the Lord is speaking to my heart. Many of us get information or we get to hear things that people have said about us. And because of our lack of emotional intelligence, we do we react the wrong way. And when you react the wrong way and you go and act wrongly on the information that was given to you, you will never get another one again. There are certain things that God will allow you here, not for you to react, but for you to take and make necessary adjustments and let go and keep moving on. If they bring a reformation to say, look at what somebody said in the office, is for you to align yourself with yourself, behave yourself, if you know that you are wrong. Many times when this information comes, you should not just quickly react. Ask yourself, am I really guilty of what they're accusing me of? I'm, they say that there's no smoke without fire and in every rumor there's an altar of truth so if you ask yourself what they are saying am i doing it even if you are not doing it be quiet time has a way of sorting everything out this what i'm saying is for somebody you are too you are too you are too reactionary in yourself it's a wrong way to live it's a wrong way to live it's a wrong way to live now Vashti had gotten information that the king is calling and she says she's not coming. How many instructions have you received that you have failed? How many times have you received instructions that you have failed? Hmm. There's something I'm going to say at the end of this service. There's something I'm going to say at the end of this service. Please, no matter what it is, just take it that I am saying what I am hearing and I'm going to be responsible for what I am hearing. I'm online. I'm going to respond to what I'm saying. I'm going to say it at the end of the service. There are two people that the Lord is calling their names in my spirit. And I will mention one. And the other one, I will leave you. I'm led to mention one. The other, I will leave you to yourself to do it. But the queen vastly refused to come at the king's command by his chamberlains. Therefore, the king was very wrought and his anger burned in him. Many of us have received information and we have not worked with it. I want to talk to us, Father, in the name of Jesus. Talk to us, Father, in the name of Jesus. I will not misuse divine information. I will not misuse divine information in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, 
I will not misuse divine information. I will not use misuse divine information. Jagada balada 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 bush. Remo si si gidi gidi bush. Riba ba 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 ba. Remo santa balada 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 gidi 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 bush. Remo si si gidi 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 bush. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I will not misuse divine information. I will not misuse divine information. I will not misuse divine information. In the name of Jesus, I will not misuse divine information. I will not divine misuse divine information. Rebo sang to seek the legate the bullet the bullet the bush. Reba so telegate the bullet the bullet the bush. Remo sang telegate the bullet the bullet the bullet the bush. Rebo shy co sata. A velek we are soon teledable. I casu seketi la fusia. Shagada balina cutea. Kaisa tuze. A vile ki pro sang to selidi. A santi seguda. A shagga de balina cute. A zigge de belegate the bush. Oh God, I will not misuse divine information. I will not misuse divine information. I will not misuse divine information. I will not misuse divine information in the name of Jesus. I will not misuse the God. I will not misuse the God. I will not misuse the God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I get it to where I want to get to. And that's why I'm going to pray and I'm going to close out the service. Now, after everything was done, the king was surrounded by wise men. And you need to understand, for every king, there is an advisor. For every king, there is a person who has his ear that is listening to. He may not listen to everybody, but there's a voice that he will not despise. And that is the voice of Memuka. We'll take a jump. Or well, let's read verse 14. Then the king said to the wise men, which knew the time. So you saw it was a time that Vashti was to be announced. It was a divine time. It was a carious time. Because the wise men were the ones that could use divination to see ahead. Like they said, they wash eye. Those ones they had, they had, they could use the stars to tell. Hmm. I just caught something. In the name of Jesus, anyone who is looking at the star to foresee, to gaze you into your life. Right now, I command that programming to scatter, to scatter, to scatter. Lift up your voice and talk to say, Father, every programming into the celestial bodies to work against me, every programming in the celestial bodies to monitor my life now, 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 fire in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice, pray it, pray it, pray it. Pray it. Every satanic programming in the celestials, in the stars, in the moon, in the sun, right now to walk and monitor me in the name of Jesus. Fire, 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That continues to do this. It says, and next unto him was Kashena, Sheta, and Sheta. Okay, yeah, this Sheta, Admata, Tashis, Meres, Masina, and Memuka. Watch now. The seven priests of Persia and Nidia, we saw the king's face and we sat first. We sat the first in the kingdom. So you see, there's a level. There are some places that, listen, when you write application letters, there are people that determine who gets that job. And especially one person that the office will ask, what do you what do you feel we do with this person? And based on his recommendation, either you get the job or you miss the job. Now I'm speaking it for over you that every voice of Memuka, Galino Siakada, that want to speak against you right now by the divine hand of God, it favors you. It favors you. It favors you. That negativity it becomes your launching pad. Your launching pad to favor. Aiko Sakata. Your launching pad to favor. Your launching pad to favor. Your launching pad to favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. What shall we do unto the queen Vashti according to the Lord? Because she had not performed the commandment of the king Ahasuerus by the chamberlains. And Memukan answered before the king. There were seven. But Memukan spoke because I believe he wielded serious influence. And Memukan answered before the king and the princes. Vashti the queen had not done wrong to the king only, 
but also to the princes and to all the people that were in the provinces of the King Azores. I told us the, on Wednesday, this is what they call escalating. He was escalating it. Not just, he said, ah, it's not just the king. The king was one of the but they were sitting there. Everybody was looking. Nobody could say, Memukan got up and spoke. You will lift up your voice. That's what that's that's major thing. Memukan is the voice of evil recommendation. Why did he not speak mercy for them, for, for Queen Vashti? I understand that God was working out something, but in the real sense, why did he not speak mercy for Queen Vashti? You will talk to God this morning. Father, this is the last prayer point of our closing. Say, Father, every voice of Memuka speaking against me, let it be silenced. 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 Memuka, you are silenced. Memuka, you are silenced. Memuka, you are silenced. Memuka, you are silenced. In the name of Jesus, you are silenced. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, every voice of Umuka speaking negative against me, be silenced, be silenced, be silenced, be silenced, be silenced, be silenced, be silenced. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and someone under the sound and influence of my voice will say the loudest amen and amen, will say the loudest amen and amen, will say the loudest amen and amen. This instruction that I want to give are for three people. Two names have come. The third one, the Lord is going to leave you to yourself. <laughs> I don't know why he's not calling your name, but the Lord is going to leave you to yourself. Number one, Minister Monday. Number two, Mr. Reynolds. If both of you are hearing me, this is instruction for you. You will take a sacrifice. I don't know where you want to send it to. Of seven thousand naira this morning i'm saying it online because the lord is telling me say what i'm telling you to say and i hold no apology to anybody i'm only answerable to the one who is speaking to me right now you will take a seed of seven thousand naira and it must be sown today to you it may you it may look like a painful thing to depart with but it is beneficial where your spirit asks you to send that money to send it to i'm not saying give it to an orphanage i'm not telling you to do um, charitable donation look for a prophet and sow that money in and call for him to say something to you because that seed is going to avert something for you you are three in number the lord has given me two names minister monday Mr. Reynolds, the last one, you are a lady. The Lord is asking me to tell you three you have between now and the end of today to get that seed soon. Once you you know, if you know the man of God, you have his account number, send it to him and call him immediately that you have sent it. I'm telling you, the, word, the Lord will put a word in his mouth and that word will surely come to pass in your life. Understood? All right, lift up your bottles of oil. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your children today. I ask in the name that is above every other name, every voice of Memuka speaking negatively against your children, evil voices of satanic recommendation, right now you are silenced forever. Silenced forever. Silenced forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Take a little bit of that oil and anoint yourself and begin to declare. Begin to declare, Memuka is silenced over my life. The voice of Memuka is silenced over my life. The voice of Memuka is silenced over my life. The voice of Memuka is silenced over my ministry. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Someone under the sound of my voice, will say amen and amen. The Lord is telling me that divine supply is coming for someone, all right? If you are led, I also want to tap in. I had it for three, but you can also pick it up because anybody can struggle with this instruction. Some people may say, I don't have. I don't. That is not my own. My own is to deliver the message for you. And you, yours is to obey. 
okay but if you say i want to key in key in the blessing is to everybody who believes and who wants to take it take it all right put it online memukan the voice of memukan is silence is silenced forever over my life put it there the voice of memukan is silenced over my life the voice of memukan is silenced over my life in the name of jesus christ tomorrow 8 p.m is a sunday morning sunday evening service do not miss it i'm going to continue the teaching that we started maintaining a positive confession in the midst of chaos and i'm going to let you know why i said so okay i started that by showing or laying down some foundations for us and on sunday i'll be running that up then we'll continue on the thought that we were on before we started our prayer conference in the name of jesus christ God bless you. Put it online. Memukan, the voice of Memukan is silenced forever in the name of Jesus. See you tomorrow evening. Have a wonderful day ahead of you. I love you. God bless you. Oh, I do love, oh, I do love.